All right, Alana, we'll stay tuned. Well, Zion National Park Rangers in Washington County Search and Rescue are looking for 79-year-old John Fisk Berg after his vehicle was found at the Canyon Overlook Trailhead. ABC 4's Southern Utah correspondent Jordan Verdadero has been monitoring that situation and joins us live from Springdale with the very latest. Jordan. Emily, Washington County Sheriff officials tell me they're going to be sending out a K-9 unit tomorrow to help find that missing hiker. A National Park Service helicopter is making its rounds near the Canyon Overlook Trail looking for 79-year-old John Fisk Berg. Park rangers closed the trail and are turning hikers around to focus on the search. The gentleman went missing yesterday. His car is at a trailhead. His family is saying he would not have left the trail. So at this point, they're asking for additional resources, preferably K-9. Sergeant Daryl Cashin with Washington County Search and Rescue says the sheriff's office is working on sending scent dogs out tomorrow in hopes to get more information on Berg's whereabouts. They'll set it up for like tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. If they haven't found him before then, then they will respond and then they will take their canines out and start searching. Zion National Park officials released this missing person flyer for Berg, who could possibly be wearing a yellow jacket, a blue backpack, shorts, ankle high hiking boots, and a white visor hat with a neck guard. It states he's about 5'9 and weighs 200. 20 pounds. I hate to speculate on outcome because there are times I thought people would not survive and they did. Sergeant Cashin says this is the third rescue they're assisting in Zion National Park this year. Berg was last seen leaving the La Quinta Hotel in Kanab on September 28th around 7 a.m. with a group of hikers. Officials say it's unknown what time Berg arrived at the trailhead, but if you have any information at all that could help, contact the National Park Service tip line. That number is on our website, abc4.com. Reporting live in Springdale, I'm Jordan Verdadero, ABC4 News.